we used it as part of uh, an introduction to learning design session, short, hour-long session for new tutors at the university. We wanted to give them a sense of how they might potentially use it themselves uh, to design any learning experiences of their own. So in order to do that, we had a group of about 18 or so uh, participants in that session. They were divided into uh, three tables, uh, six at a table, uh, and we asked them to come up with a short um, course uh, over three weeks, approximately two hours a week, called Finding Relevant Literature. Uh, and so we set them off. And what was very interesting, we actually gave them quite a short space of time. It was 20, but it might have stretched to 25 minutes to do that. And, and uh, I'll share what happened from that in a minute, but first I'll explain actually that there was one other context that we, that we used or trialled ABC in, and that was with a smaller group of lecturers who um, approached us because they were very interested in redesigning and reconsidering an existing course that they had for a, a master's in special educational needs. Um, so we, 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 we tried it out in, in those contexts. That second one was just with a group of uh, four academics. Okay, so the initial observations on the first one where we had the three different tables and the new tutors, we, it was really even very obvious before the evaluations that two of the three tables really seemed to actively engage with that activity. And within that very short space of time, they came up with uh, a nice storyboard, they came up with a tweet as well, uh, and they really seemed to, um, it really seemed to inspire conversations about pedagogy for them, and also got them thinking about potential activities related uh, to the different learning activities that they had selected. So they responded really quickly. And then there was this other table who just really seemed to struggle a bit. It was almost like they either needed more buy-in to the concept, um, perhaps they f had difficulty um, establishing relevance to their own context, but for whatever reason, they kind of struggled quickly. And it sort of highlighted, I think, even at this early stage, that you need to spend a little bit of time introducing this concept to the teams, um, and that some groups of people, because everyone's different, are going to respond to it more quickly than others. Um, in the second group, um, the one that I mentioned who were doing the work on uh, special educational needs, what was interesting was that um, they really struggled, funnily enough, with the tweet aspect to the point where we kind of had to move them on rather quickly from that. But we really, through the ABC methodology, got some fantastic conversations about their approach. What was happening in their context was they had what I would describe as a scroll of death happening on their Moodle page, where you had tens upon tens of documents and PDFs and resources. Um, and this method really encouraged them to think about that, think about, well, that's obviously acquisition content. Is there a way we can, we can make that look better? Should we be having so much acquisition content in our course in the first place? Uh, if we do want to have some of it, how about things like the Moodle book or possibly even try to make it more interactive using tools such as H5P interactivity uh, technology? <laughs> so it really did, with a very non-technical group, inspire some, some very good conversations. So that's where we are with those two, as I said, very much trials, uh, and I'll just briefly say then what do we expect from the project? What we'd really like to do is, with everyone's help, is develop our expertise in delivering an effective package for these very time-poor academics, um, and in particular for those that come to us in programme teams. Um, we want to move away from an individual approach very much towards programme teams. Um, we'd also like to... Um, uh, contribute and develop uh, an approach that assists with the implementation of ideas beyond the initial workshop. And that's something that's our experience, not just from ABC, but in any kind of design workshop. Great ideas, great enthusiasm on the day, but how can we make sure that those great ideas are enacted? Uh, and then finally, we'd really like to embed our learning and whatever we learn from this project into our overall institutional practice. Uh, strategies. In particular, um, we are in the process of designing a new qualification pathway for staff uh, and we'd really like this methodology to influence that and potentially be included in it into the future. So those are the three goals and if we, if we get those done in the two years, we'll, we'll be very happy campers. Okay, thank you.